You're in luck if you're hoping to witness Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift walk the red carpet at the 2024 Oscars. It's highly likely that these two will spend a romantic evening in Hollywood together after a few weeks apart. Granted, we don't have a direct confirmation from Taylor or Travis, but we do have receipts, evidence, and a time frame to support this. However, imagine how shocking it would be if they were to confirm it. Now let's get started. Maybe it would be wiser to ask, can they go together, or at all, rather than will they go together? It turns out that the answer is yes, but Taylor would have a very difficult time with it. Currently, Taylor's is touring Singapore, doing a number of shows. March 9th, the day before the Oscars on March 10th, is her final show of the six planned. Is there enough time to travel, though? It's time to perform some travel math, just like we did for the Super Bowl in February. The flight time between California and Singapore is slightly over 15 hours, with California being 16 hours behind Singapore. The latest she may return to Los Angeles is mid-morning on March 10 if she buys a direct flight, closes her show at midnight Singapore time, and makes the necessary time adjustments. Yes, I am exhausted. However, still in the city. When we last saw Travis, he and his brother Jason Kelsey were volunteering in Pennsylvania. He had a five-hour flight to the Oscars, so it wasn't a problem. As much as it grieves supporters, a nomination for her concert video, Taylor Swift, The Era's Tour, would have guaranteed Taylor a spot in the Oscar race. Sadly, Beyoncé, who, it should be noted, also had a fantastic concert film in 2023, and she were both passed up. According to the rules as they stood, neither could submit or compete for an Academy Award nomination for documentary feature. To be honest, Taylor is still being treated unfairly in this situation. She has never received a nomination in any category as of now. She was not present when the renowned composer Andrew Lloyd Webber and her co-wrote Beautiful Ghosts for the film Cats. Consider the film whatever you want, the song is amazing. She was also humiliated again in 2022 when she was not selected for a short film award for her 10-minute rendition of All Too Well and an original song nomination for Caroline from the drama adaptation where the crawdads sing from Sony Pictures. Since she has such a busy schedule, it might be asking for too much to have them both walk the red carpet at the Oscars. However, there are always the after parties. And over the years, Travis and Taylor have both attended the largest and most elite event, the Vanity Fair party. Although Taylor passed away in 2016, to be precise, Travis was there in 2023, just days after hosting Saturday Night Live. In the days that followed, Kelsey stated on his New Heights podcast, it was an honor to go to the Vanity Fair after party. It was a huge joy. After that, the gold party was even more enjoyable. Got to see some of the most interesting people outside of Hollywood in the entertainment industry. I had a great time in sports and entertainment alike. This would be Travis and Taylor's formal event debut if they attended the Oscars and walked the red carpet together. She attended 13 straight games, including the Super Bowl, but he hasn't taken her on a red carpet tour yet. She went alone to the Grammys and the Golden Globes. The latter was especially significant since it cemented her place in music history and earned her the fourth album of the year award. Crossing our fingers.